Yes guys, have you noticed those tiny circle purpley kind of objects on the streets? Those tiny pieces of glasses are called pavement lights or vault lights. They were inserted there to allow lights to penetrate to the underground areas just like this one. guide explaining about the datum elevation negative 18.79 feet it was carved into the granite of the pioneer building the older Seattle city was below sea levels and the city have a lot of problems during high tides such as flooding and sewage backflow to, to the city causing hygiene and health problems so the solution is to elevate the city above sea level thus the creation of the city datum the elevations which all elevations of the city are based that building that brick building is an old electric railway station it will cost you 15 cents a ride from Seattle to Tacoma. Wow, that's really cheap. We have found the underground tour and then we are heading to the entrance of the underground city. It's kind of steep of those steps but just be careful because it's ranging from 12 feet to 30 feet deep. So just be careful when you're going down. guys at this moment uh, we were on the underground street facing the dilapidated old building right those are windows old windows from the old buildings and above me was the above ground main street so moving along you can see walls that could be 12 to 30 feet in height that elevated the city we were heading to the next underground city. So the underground tunnels were not connected because some of the areas were closed. So we have to go out to the street level and move along to the next underground tunnel. underground tunnel so as you can see all tunnels here are under a very secure door they have a lock locking door there to avoid some trespassing and some vandalisms and for safety for the visiting tourists can see there's a lot of posts a brick post and beams wooden beams to support the entire structure of the elevated city I was really fascinated how the city engineers planned this to elevate the city it is really an awesome innovation on those days and until now I'm still in awe So guys, the tour guide here is really knowledgeable about the history of the underground city. So taking up this kind of tour, even you're in Seattle, is really informative and it's really worth your money, in my own opinion. Now guys, if you're in the underground tunnel, I just want to forewarn you that 
the smell is a little bit musty yeah, okay. and also there's like a weird feeling inside maybe there's or there was like a ghost uh, following us some kind of like an eerie feeling there but it's not really bad because you're with a group of people and the tourist guide made jokes basically he was funny all along the tour so it makes the journey more fun and relaxing we're heading to the street levels you can see a spiral stair going up and that is the street levels that we're heading because we're about to finish the underground city tour so once again guys I really enjoyed the tour it was really nice because you get to know the history of the underground Seattle city and how it was rebuilt after the floods and the fire that devastated the entire city. So the history itself fascinated me. And I hope you guys, if you come here in Seattle city, you also avail this kind of tour and for sure, in my own opinion, that you will love it. Searching for our destiny into the woods. <laughs> into the woods, na. <laughs> backyard and as you know guys we have they have a river here this is Emma's backyard oh. come to my backyard <laughs> we're so lucky we're so blessed to have friends like them mm -hmm. next yeah, time very rich neighborhood yeah. next time you can have um kayaking kayaking oh paddleboard oh look at that blackberries no mga berries wild, wild berries
view. Wow, guys, free food, organic blackberries here, mm. and it is also wild. No, only in Seattle. Only in Seattle, you get free organic wild Be careful, berries. Guys. You're gonna get wild too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.